I never sort of paid much attention to women's rights or gender justice issues until I was sort of in my mid-teens and I was going to a, a Catholic school and I had engagement with some local priests who suggested to me once that maybe I should uh, learn to go and make um, beds and learn how to clean so I could get a good job when I left school and it was something that just completely shocked me and I felt um, motivated through um, anger I suppose that I needed to uh, get serious about trying to make a difference in the world. My work is really focused on gender justice and it started focusing particularly on women and political power and then it moved on to look at women in the law. More recently been working on women in the construction industry and hoping soon to be doing work on women in medicine. I think we've got to look more at the way in which men still maintain dominance across key industries and power positions, including in Parliament. There's no point in training women to go into male-dominated workplaces if those workplaces are going to remain exactly the same. What we need to do is change everyone's experiences in those workplaces so that it's a good place to work for everybody. I've done a particular project on women in the International Criminal Court. What I have found in my research there is strong statements of support for women victims of sexual and gender-based crimes from all the key players in the court. But when it comes to actually implementing that, it falls down. After 20 years, the International Criminal Court has not yet had one successful conviction for sexual and gender-based violence. I'm a part of a movement outside the court to hold the court accountable to its commitments to advance gender justice. I think it's going to be an ongoing challenge because things have been set in place for a long time, but I never want to give up hope for this and I never want to stop working for it.